Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Dylan Dylan here. I just wanted to share with you guys a quick 3D printing tip um, that can drastically improve the surface of your prints, make them a lot smoother, um, make your curves not have that, that jerky hexagonal kind of look to them. Um, it's called arc welding and it's really simple to add. Uh, you don't have to do any kind of technical stuff. Um, I don't want to go all Joshua Bardwell on it, but I do want to explain just a little bit what arc welding is and I'm going to take you to the whiteboard for that. Printing when you want to print a curve, how that's normally achieved is that's done with G0 and G1 commands. With G0 and G1 commands, what it actually does is it breaks it up into like start extruding, draw a small line, stop extruding, start extruding, draw a small line, stop extruding, start extruding, draw a small line, stop extruding, start extruding. You get the point. And it goes all the way around, it makes a bunch of these little lines, and it's trying to make the effect of a curve. With arc support, what the program does is it post processes the G code. It sees this here, it's like, oh, that's just uh, this section here of the known ellipse. And so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna replace those 300 lines of code telling it to do little things, and we're gonna tell it to just go in one path, one extrusion, no starting, no stopping, no jittering. It actually tells it to draw the curve. Works a lot better. Try it out. Make sure it's enabled in your firmware. And then the last thing you got to do is simply select Arc Welder checkbox when you're inside Cura and it will do the rest of the post processing for you.